But one of those one of them is just Jeremy so ha- Costello. Just so happens to be a world champion, second in the power ranking, second and strongest ninja as well, coming out of Jim Warrior. Incredibly strong athlete with a very strong resume. In order to win that world championship, he had to hit buzzers on all three stages. Beat stage three, which is usually a grip call in under two minutes. Looks like he wanted to link that bar drop and maybe pull through that one with an interesting twist. Oh, wow. There. We can see exactly why he was the world champion. Incredibly powerful Absolutely. swings. Using a lot of different techniques. Put a lot of different types of swings on display there. He still has plenty of time. Well, maybe not too much time, but he's straightforward, not really side Could be to your side. your second finisher, Kane. And we have our second finisher, 42.96, about a second slower than Tanner. But regardless, we are going to see Jeremy Casella, our world champion, fight for his spot in the Premier Series finals as the second to last runner. Up now is our reigning world champion jeremy casella hit every buzzer awesome. at the world championships and did so faster than everyone else not only that he was top 10 in every single event at the world championships barring the tech skill he was in the top five and the other six so he went home with a lot of hardware. Four podiums, obviously, though, finishing stage three the fastest and getting the trophy that everybody shows up for. Had an incredibly consistent regular season as well, being second in the power ranking. Out of Jim Jewel Warrior. They're an expanding facility. They've got four now up in New England. Wow, good for them. We see very efficient swings out of... Oh, but he's stuck on Uh-oh, the, this on is... The it's the second athlete today that we've seen get that strap caught, but he gets right off of it. Good pop out and forward. Good direction change as he saves a little bit of time or makes up for it at the very least. Getting off the sky hooks. Showing great resiliency and resolve. What we would expect out of a world champion. But he is going a little crooked right now. Has to straighten out. Stop that kaleidoscope from swinging. The first official phase of his title defense. Now he's making, making his way now work, through though. the log run. And critically, it looks like the boats are going to stay steady. So that's good to see. Now, he's making good work on these obstacles. The question is, how is his time going to hold up compared to other athletes here? There he, I think, is also going for the dismount. Absolutely. Just precisely what he does, that should get him on the podium. Keyword should. Well, in any event, he'd love to beat this obstacle, become the first today. He needs to get up there, but he's running low on time. His the lights are, are flashing so inside of 10 he's seconds. Swinging. He's the first to get Gets it. Gets the trapeze. Gets the ring. And runs out Come of on, time. Come on, Jeremy. Did he run out oh, of time? Oh, happening? so close. Oh, yeah. You can see that blue buzzer in the top left of your screen. That's all he had to get to. But a great run. He has gone further than any other athlete. He got to the last obstacle very quickly in what should be a top four time. And was the first athlete to make it onto that trapeze and go down the pipe coaster.